It hosted the Olympic Games back in 1996, but it's nothing but baseball now at Turner Field in Atlanta, as MLB The Show welcomes you to this edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, a couple of National League Eastern Division teams get ready to face off, as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the Atlanta Braves. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Happy to be with you here for this one. And as always, I'm joined by Major League veterans Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. How do we turn to you first? What are you going to be keeping an eye on in this matchup here? Well, we've got a dynamite starting pitching matchup in this one. And that often means that runs are going to be hard to come by. The team that gets the early lead might be able to hang on. All right, Rex, and we'll hear from Dave in moments. But first, let's get to our new era cap starting lineup as the visiting Florida Marlins line up like this. Hanley Ramirez will lead things off and be the shortstop. Following him in the two holders, Dan Ugla at second base. Batting third, Miguel Cabrera. He'll play third. Then comes the Japanese import catcher, Kenji Jojima. Jeremy Hermida follows him out in right. Then comes the left fielder, Josh Willingham. Aaron Boone will bat next, really struggling against right-handed pitching, something to be aware of. Batting eighth is the youngster Alejandro de Aza out in center. Anibal Sanchez will be on the mound for the Marlins and bat number nine. And they'll face the veteran right-hander John Smoltz. Smoltz has seen it all in his big league career. 14 times he's been a member of a Braves Eastern Division Championship Club. He's won a Cy Young Award, a saves title, a World Series ring, and is still one of the best around. A look at the Braves alignment behind him, led of course by nine-time Gold Glove Award winner and one of the best ever, Andrew Jones in center field. And standing in is Hanley Ramirez as we are ready to get this one going. are underway here this evening as the first pitch misses for ball one. One oh pitch now. And this catches the outside corner strike one. And I'll tell you these are the kind of pitches he's going to need to keep locating if he's going to be successful. And this is at least close to the inside corner, but it's ruled a ball two and one. Oh. And Ramirez will just try and work his way aboard here. It's three and one. The last thing you want to do is walk the leadoff guy to begin the ball game. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And Wilson will step on the bag. Three unassisted for the out. So one gone now for Dan Ugla. Now a swing and a ball hit foul to first as the first base coach had to do a little skip to my Lou there. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. And have a look. The catcher sets the target down around the knees, but this is a good low ball hitter, and he gets good wood on this one. So a runner at first with one man gone, and here comes young Miguel Cabrera. Now here's the first pitch. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Boy, and they would love a double play ball right here. Ball 
crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there, and that one is long gone. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, number 25 for him on the year, and the Marlins have taken a two-to-nothing lead. Kenji Jojima swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. And this ball will be chopped foul. Shooting for the outside corner, but he missed it one and two. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Stays alive here as this is fouled off to the right. Fastball, and where did that miss? Two and two. Now a soft liner to the left side, but foul. Now a fastball swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Diaz is going to have room, though, as he backs up to put it away, and there are two men gone. Jeremy Hermida will dig in, and as you can see, he's been a much better hitter at home this year. Here's the first offering. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. And he can't believe it. He thought it was low. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Therefore, it is or Throw on to Wilson at first, and the inning is over. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Florida's out in front, two to nothing. Now the starting lineup for the host Atlanta Braves. Edgar Renteria will lead things off and be the shortstop. Matt Diaz bats second in left field. Andrew Jones will bat third and play center. Craig Wilson is in the cleanup spot at first base. In the five spot is Jeff Francoeur. He'll be out in right field. Pete Orr will bat sixth and play second. Brian Pena is behind the plate. He'll hit seventh. Kelly Johnson will hit eighth and play third. And on the mound in the number nine spot, the pitcher, future Hall of Famer John Smoltz. And they'll square off against one of the better young talents around, right-hander Anibal Sanchez. Quite a ride for him last year as he made his major league debut at the age of 22 by shutting out the Yankees over five and two-third innings and then followed that one up down the stretch by throwing a no-hitter against Arizona on September 6th. And in the field, Louisville Slugger shows us that the Marlins will align themselves like this. Edgar Renteria will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Swung on and missed for the first strike. And that's where you want to keep things early in this ball game. Pound that outside part of the plate. Here's a breaking ball outside, and now it's even one and one. Now a swing and a ball grounded to second. Douglas' throw is right there for the first out.
Matt Diaz will stand in for the first time here. And then this is inside 1-0. Grounded foul. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Pass ball. Strike three called, and he knew it. Two gone. So quickly, two away now for Andrew Jones. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1-0. and oh. And with a good pull hitter at the plate, the outfield will swing way around to the left here. Ball in there for a strike, one and one. This is a guy that won't back down from a challenge. He'll come right at you up in the zone. One one on the way. And now a ball hit fairly well here out to the deep part of left field. Willingham will have room though as he makes the catch and the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. We'll move to the second now at Turner Field. The Marlins lead this one two to nothing. Josh Willingham will step in, working on a nice five-game hitting streak. Now here's the ball hit high and deep out to left center field. Now a reach, and he takes a tumble here, but hangs on for the first down. Aaron Boone will try and get things going because, as you can see, he's just not hitting the ball well this month. Swing, and he shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. And Wilson will step on the bag. Three unassisted for the out. Take another look. Great pitch that just splinters the bat and gets the ground ball out. Alejandro Diaz will take his first cut to the ball game here. Swung on and missed, it's 0-1. And, and partner, the first two guys made first pitch outs. You can't swing at that. Let's get the count. And the pitch. And that misses, 1-1. One and one. Two out, nobody on. Runs up and gets one down here, but it might not be deep enough. For the first in time, and you got to question that decision as the side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On now to the bottom of the second. The Marlins lead it two to nothing. Craig Wilson will start things off in the bottom of the second. Bullet toward third. And this is going to be a fair ball as it'll head to the corner. Jeff Francoeur will dig in. And as you can see, he's been a much better hitter at home this year. And this is 
taken outside for ball one. Nobody out, runner on first. Throw over to the bag, and he just does get his hand back in time. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Two and one. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. Deceiving pitch there. Good job to hold up in time. Fastball in there, three and two. A runner at first with no outs here. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Pete Orr will step in now. Ball one. You know they'd love to get him something he could hit on the ground here. Maybe get him out of the inning. Fouled straight back. Now a ground ball to first. He may try for two. And the throw will go to second as they get the four set. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Brian Pena will stand in now. Switch hitter batting from the left side here. First pitch to him. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. And he lays off for ball one. Two out with the man at first. Did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. And that is on the inside corner, but he can't get the call. Man, three and one. Kelly Johnson would be next. to center field and that'll get down for a base hit Kelly Johnson digs in at the plate Set. Now the pitch. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Now a ball lying towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And a relay home. And not nearly in time as the run scores easily. John Smoltz will get his first opportunity now. Slider. Don't know quite where that missed, but it's 1-0. Oh. He holds 
up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Just a challenge fastball right there, and he didn't want any part of it. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We play two full. The Marlins on top, two to one. Anibal Sanchez ready to go here as we begin the third. And that misses ball one. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. And pitch location has definitely been a problem for him here early on. He's got to stop leaving those pitches over the plate. Now a swing and a ball hit high in the air into shallow left center. Diaz comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Hanley Ramirez will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now here's the first pitch. And good life on the fastball from Smoltz there, and it's strike one. Yeah, down near the thighs. That's a fastball he'll have a tough time elevating on. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. One pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. And that misses and we're even at two and two. Smoltz gets the veteran's call right there as it's strike three on a pitch that did not look to be in the zone. We'll get a look at this one on pitch track, but... Oh, man. That's not a strike. I don't blame him for being angry. But better watch those magic words. Don't say them. Don't say it. Dan Ugla will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. Fouled back. Now here's the pitch. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. Frank Coeur will get under it though and he puts it away to retire the side. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Florida's out in front, two to one. So it's back to the top of the order now and the former All-Star Edgar Renteria will be the batter. Pitch is a slider called for a strike. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul.
pitches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Matt Diaz will get another shot, called out on strikes his first time around. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. If you can keep planting that pitch there, you'll be in good shape. And he misses with it, one and one. One, one pitch on the way. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And this is taken in for the second out. Andrew Jones to dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Good movement on the fastball there from Sanchez as he jumps ahead with strike one. Matt, you can see they put on an exaggerated shift to the left here. Here it comes. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Foul ball straight back. Off speed pitch and it's strike three called. And I think he got a little help with that one as the side is retired. We'll see Miguel Cabrera when we get back as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Miguel Cabrera will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Here's the first offering. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0-1. He'll go right after him with that thing to start the at-bat. Had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. Trying to get Cabrera to chase there, but it's 1 and 2. On the ground towards second. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Kenji Jojima will try it again. He flew out his first time. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. And this will be fouled away. Called strike one and two, and he'll just live on the black right there. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Jeremy Hermida will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And, hmm, 
Not quite sure what was wrong with that one, but it's 1-0. and On the corner away, a ball and a strike. Think he gave up on that one a little too early? And he misses two and one. Swing and a miss, two and two now. Lays off the splitter that time, and it's full three and two. Don't think he had a feel for his release point there. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Marlins lead it two to one. Craig Wilson will dig in. He singled his first time around. Lays off 1-0. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Who might be only 23, but he's got poise out there beyond his years. Here's the pitch. Swinging a ball line softly down the left field line. Foul. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Jeff Francoeur will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1-0. Fourth inning of a 2-1 ball game. Yeah! Well, he waits back on the change there, and this is hit high and fairly deep out to left. Willingham's back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Pete Orr will stand in. He reached on a fielder's choice his first time. First pitch coming. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Bravo. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Marlins lead this one two to one. Josh Willingham will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. First pitch coming. Swing and a miss that time. Strike one. Went after the low heat. We'll see if he stays down there. Don't 
Here's one hit towards the hole. And past the diving infielder, that's a base hit. Aaron Boone will stand in. He grounded out his first time. out with the slider for a strike both clubs with three hits in the ball game now a ball hit back up the middle and that'll get by into center field for a base hit And now Bobby Cox is going to send his pitching coach, Roger McDowell, out to the mound to have a quick conversation with the starter. Alejandro Diaz will be the batter. Outside for ball one. Trying to backdoor him, but it stays outside just a bit. And 2 0 as this one's taken low. Now a pitch swung on and missed. It's 2 and 1. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Oh, and a fastball down there like that will take the sting out of your bat if you make contact. Sets the 2-2 pitch. In the air to center. Jones patrolling center makes the play one out. Anibal Sanchez will stand in now and we'll see if the sacrifice will be on here with one man out. Trying to give himself up here, but this is foul, so the runners will return. And he tries to move those runners up a base, but this is a foul ball. He's ready. Now the pitch. And he won't offer it that. Too high. One and two. And he's starting to get up there in pitches now. Worth keeping an eye on. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Doesn't matter how hard you throw it. A well-placed heater is still the best pitch in baseball. And look where this thing is. Right on the inside corner. That's a tough pitch. Two men on, two out, and at the plate is the young shortstop, Hanley Ramirez. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. He's got to drive that fastball the other way. He's set, now the pitch. One and one. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Got to bend the knees and go down and get that one. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. 
Throw in the dirt, but a nice dig there as the umpire gets a good look at it to see that the inning is indeed over. Marlins strand a pair. They still lead it 2-1. to one. Brian Pena will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Side corner strike. for strike one. Yeah, let that thing go. Still got a couple more strikes to play with. Spins and pulls this one down the line at first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Kelly Johnson will stand in, an RBI single in his first appearance. And a ball 1-0. Trying to work him down the zone. That's just where you need to keep that fastball. Continuing to work the lower half of the strike zone here as that's in for strike one. Line hard to the left side. And this is going to be a foul ball. Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. See if they try and stay out there again. Two-two pitch on the way. Swinging the ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. center and that's in there base hit John Smoltz will stand in he grounded out his first time now a sacrifice attempt here only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. Trying to avoid the double play ball that could have ended the inning. When you don't have confidence in a pitcher swinging the bat, this becomes a very wise play. Two gone now in the Atlanta half of the fifth, and in steps the shortstop Edgar Renteria. Grounded foul. Pause, now the pitch. Just off the plate and high, ball one. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Hits are now even at four apiece. He waits. Now the pitch. And now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. On the run, and he has it to retire the side. So no runs on a hit here, no errors. One man left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Marlins on top, two to one. And before the Marlins take their turn here in the sixth inning, let's take a moment to check their in-game box score through five innings. It's presented by Upper Deck. Dan Ugla will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Ugla. Now a 
swing and a ball hit in the air down the left field line. Diaz is under it to put it away and it's one pitch one out to kick off the sixth. And guys this has just been vintage John Smoltz so far. He's taken a sting right out of their bats. Miguel Cabrera will step in one for two in the ballgame. Too low one and oh and they'll need to run it in a little bit more to make that thing effective. Now the 1 0 pitch. Oh, and he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. Fastball, and that ran in on him as he had to limbo out of the way that time. This is a very good hitter up here. See, he might get the green light on 3 0. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. A little bit of sinking action on that fastball. And a great location that time on the corner, three and two now. Low scoring game thus far, two to one here in the sixth. is lined right back up the middle and this will get through into right and he's aboard with a one out single Kenji Jojima will try again struck out swinging his last time through a look at Cabrera now the pitch Fastball as this is hit fairly well out toward left center. Diaz will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Jeremy Hermida steps in now. Smoltz able to get ahead with the fastball here for strike one. And I'd maybe try to make him chase even a little further out of the zone here. Oh, y'all don't give in now. Mm, and a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Oh, just let him swing his Ready with the two one. And he hey. comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike two. Comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Two, three, and four due up in the home half of the sixth. Florida's out in front, two to one. Low scoring game as we get another look at the in-game box score, and much like the previous one we saw, really not a whole lot to look at offensively thus far. Matt Diaz will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats.
swing and a ground ball towards the hole. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And here comes Andrew. And here's the first pitch. And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. Pretty nasty there. We may see that again before too long. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Hits are even right now at five aside. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Ready with another 0-2. And this is fouled straight back. Sanchez coming up on pitch number 71 so far. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. So a runner at first now with one away and here's the powerful right-handed batter Craig Wilson. First pitch on the way. Just off the outside and it's 1-0. Boy, they could really use a double play ball here. But a strikeout wouldn't be too bad either. This one's oh, no. too far inside, ball two. And in a close ball game, I think you let him throw you one here. Here's a swing and a high pop-up out in front of the mound. There to take it is Cabrera, and that's the second out of the inning. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and making his way in is the right fielder, Jeff Francoeur. And he takes ball one. Matt, he's up over 75 pitches now, so they're really going to start watching him a bit more closely. Watches one miss outside, 2-0 now. Here's the 2-0 pitch. A strike, and it's 2-1. and one. Wouldn't be a surprise to see him continue to work that outside corner. Good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning coming up. The Marlins lead it 2-1. to one. Josh Willingham will step in, one for two in the ballgame. Hack that time, good for the first strike. The pitch. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. That was a good spot to miss. That thing fell right through the bottom of the zone. Takes ball two and it's two and one. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one.
The 3-1 is on the way. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And there's a base hit, so maybe some insurance here to lead off the seventh. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Well, this is what happens when you fall behind to start an inning. Sometimes when you start nibbling, you lose your command, and this one winds up catching too much of the plate and goes for a leadoff double. Now here comes Bobby Cox out of the Braves' dugout, and he's going to make a move here. That'll do it tonight for John Smoltz. He'll leave after six and at the very least kept his club in it to this point. New pitcher set to go now. Good to see that righty Rafael Soriano has bounced back and is ready to take over on the mound. Aaron Boone will step in with a big opportunity to get that insurance run home from second. Good pitch there as he gets him to swing underneath it for strike one. He's ready now, the pitch. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Frank Coor has to back up a bit, but he has it shy of the wall for the first out. And he is safe on a close play. So a runner stands at third. One man is out. And standing in, the young center fielder, Alejandro Deaza. inside for a ball 1 and 0 and with the infield in you definitely got to think up the middle of the diamond right up the box right swing and a fly ball but shallow and that's not going to do it Frank Coor has it and I'd be surprised if they send the runner Anibal Sanchez will dig in with a very important insurance run 90 feet away at third He misses inside with that one, ball one. And even though that's a ball, that's a good spot for that baby. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Two one pitch is a fastball swung on and missed two and two. down on strikes for the final out. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Seventh inning stretch time here in Atlanta. The Marlins lead this one two to one. Pete Orr will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Now the first pitch. In there at the knees, strike one. Let's see if he'll nibble at the corners here once he gets ahead. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one.
down the line, but this is a foul ball. Now here it comes. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. Brian Pena will step in. One for two in the ballgame. And here's a fastball called for strike one. He looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. Let's see if they stay with a fastball to try to finish him off. And he looks at a ball, 1-2. and two. Sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. And the fastball easy to lay off that time. Two and two. Swing hard liner to left center. Base hit. Fastball that time, and it catches a lot of the plate. So he just decides to take it the other way. That's just good hitting. Now here's Freddy Gonzalez, the Marlins manager, making his way toward the mound. And it appears that'll be all for Anibal Sanchez. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. And a new pitcher making his way toward the mound. It's the hard-throwing right-hander, Matt Lindstrom. <laughs> Kelly Johnson will step in. A base hit in his last time. First pitch coming. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. Both teams with six hits so far. Now a fastball that stays straight, but I think he just missed it as this is hit in the air to fairly deep center field. Diazza is back, though, and he's there to put it away, two down. Brian McCann will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Brian McCann. And a fastball just misses for ball one. And that's an example of a pitcher trying to keep you honest there. You can't always work away. The 1-0 now to McCann. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. Fast ball at the letters, and he turns on it, hits it high and deep out to center field. Diazza will have room, though, as he makes the catch and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Eighth inning coming up. Florida's out in front, 2-1. to one. New pitcher coming on now. It's the Hawaiian-born right-hander Tyler Yates that will make an appearance here. Hanley Ramirez will try again, 0 for 3 thus far. Hard back up the middle. 
in there, a base hit. Dan Ugla will get another crack, one for three thus far. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. and You won't see guys chasing fastballs down there too often. And 2-0 and now as this misses below the knees. Pitches a fastball low and it's 3 0 now. And he misses there for ball four, so runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Well, and this is the old saying when in doubt, talk it out, as they'll gather the entire infield here to make sure they've got the correct play set up. Miguel Cabrera will dig in. He singled his last time around. And this is off the corner and low, ball one. He'll try a different arm slot here to see if he can get him to chase. one oh on the way that's by him for strike one the pitchers duel continues here two to one score as we play the eighth and this is low ball two two and one Here's a fastball taken too low, and he works the count to three and one. And up three and one, he can afford to look middle in and really turn on something. Three one on the way. Softly to third, this could be two. There's one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Kenji Jojima to try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. Here's the first offering. Ball one. A little too much dart on that one. That's not too hard to lay off of. Ball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. Make it Break it. Mm, can't do much with that one. It's one and two. just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. And this one gets away. That could be a run. And as it turns out, he won't test it. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Men on third with two down. <laughs> to the right side, but foul, and they'll try it again. <laughs> a swing and a miss 
as all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Marlins lead it 2-1. to one. Edgar Renteria will try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. And the first pitch is bounced on the ground to Ramirez at short. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. And we'll have a pitching change here as Kevin Gregg takes over on the mound. Matt Diaz will get another crack, one for three thus far. Here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and <laughs> Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats oh. foul. Here's the 1-1. Grounded foul. Now a ground ball towards the hole. And a diving try, but it's off his glove, and that ought to be a one-out hit. And in fact, no throw as he's able to reach first base safely. Time is called now as we're going to get a pinch runner here. Good move to get a little more speed out there, knowing he's the possible tying run. Andrew Jones will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. Boy, in a one-run game, you don't want to be leaving that pitch there. down in the left field corner foul good job of holding up on the low ball there and it's one and two hits are even at seven apiece and he struck him out and there's the hat trick as that's his third strikeout of the ball game and that's a big strikeout with that tying run over at first. Now you don't have to worry about trying for the double play. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And here's the clean-shaven right-handed swinging Craig Wilson. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Yeah, not a lot he can do with that fastball. Swing and a miss by Wilson as he falls behind in the count, 0-2. A runner on first with two away. Swing apparently, ball one. From the belt, the pitch. He swings and pops it high toward the left side of the infield. And Cabrera will put this one away, and the inning is over. So, no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We've played eight full. The Marlins lead this one two to one. Ryan Langerhans will come into the ball game as a defensive upgrade. Jeremy Hermida will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Let's get these out, y'all. 
first pitch to him. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for ball one. Outside locator that time, but a good job to lay off. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and Swings right over the top of that one, two and one. Here's the two and one pitch. And a strike on the fastball. So from two and oh, it's two and two now. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. Give him the old hat trick as he's looked over match all through this one. Josh Willingham will dig in. He doubled his last time. Oh, and he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. And that's a location mistake right there. He might not get away with that twice. Now here's the pitch. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back oh. into the crowd foul. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. One out, nobody on. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Aaron Boone will step in, one for two in the ball game. First offering on the way. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. Good late break there. Good pitch to get ahead on. Outside for a ball, one and one. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. Alejandro Diaz will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Fastball too high, and it's 1-0. and Might have been trying to overthrow that one a bit. Looked like a slider, perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's 2-0. and Now a fastball driven the other way out to deep left field. Longer Hans will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. The Marlins on top, two to one. Ninth inning save situation, so they'll make the call here for Jorge Julio. Jeff Francoeur will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. In there for strike one. Just got to find some way to get on base here.
Now the pitch. Swung on and missed. Nothing in two now to Frank Coor. And he pops him up here on 0-2 as this is drifting toward the right side of the infield. Boom is under it, no problem, one away. Well, he just couldn't get his hands on top of this one. This thing's up in the zone, and he just swings underneath it and lifts an easy pop-up. Pete Orr will try again, 0 for 3 thus far. Good zip to the fastball there by Julio for strike one. Runs up and gets one down here, but it might not be deep enough. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. Well, they say speed thrills in this game, and here's a great example is once this ball got down, they were not going to get him. Brian Pena will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. And he takes something off here as this is a lazy fly ball out to center field. Diaz will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. Two men gone here, but still one big out remains between him and the save. Kelly Johnson will step in with the tying run on first, so he's got to concentrate and work on getting on base here. Now here's the first pitch. And that misses for ball one. Both teams with eight hits in this one. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Oh, in time, and the ball game is over. Well, this game went right down to the wire, but in the end, they were able to just hold on and walk away victorious. So the Marlins claim victory here in soup. Let's check out our new era cap heads up play of the game from this one. Well, Matt, here's what turned out to be the decisive blow, and it came way back in the very first inning. This home run got them going, and they never looked back. Not a lot of offense to go around in this one, but what offense we did see came from this man's bat. He's our upper deck player with the game. Yeah, Matt, you can see a couple of hits, including an important home run, and he really supplied the difference in this game as far as I'm concerned. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score, the Marlins win it 2-1. to one. This has been a presentation of MLB 07 The Show. For more, log on to MLB 07.com. Good night, everybody.